level with the phase CPQ training program. So today's topic I will going I am going to discuss about uh, CPQ based uh, In this price tool, we will try to utilize a local object. How this local object is going to help us in overriding the partners down here. So let's navigate to the next slide. Let's <coughs> So I am going to the my slide where uh, you see I have one local object named partner level sound. It has a partner level portfolio. So I have a three level partner level which is called Don's Silver and Gold. I have a product called hardware, software, and support. So based on this partner level discount, that partner discount should be overridden on the time interface. So this is what today's objective, how to how we can quickly fulfill this particular requirement with help of a price rule using a lookup object called custom object. So my first step to how to <coughs> build this particular functional functionality within the Salesforce platform. First, I have to achieve or I have to create one custom field name saying that a partner label. So this partner label is is nothing but it's a, a pick list field. As you as you here uh, see, this a uh, tech matrix ink is a partner label of silver. Similarly, we have a bronze gold. So this custom field you will have to define on an account as a custom field. So partner label as a custom field and the data type should be a pick list and this bronze silver and gold these three as a pick list value you will have to create under the account custom field and for data preparation please go ahead and create one account with the partner label called silver or gold or bronze accordingly now my next step will be create a formula field on a code to uh, for the partner level itself actually so what I have been referring here the code itself will say you which partner level account it is actually so I am creating another formula field on a code object uh, called partner level and this is the formula will look like so now my in my third step will I I will have to create a one a lookup object called custom object so this custom object is nothing but the object that store our a partner label discount definition called partner label bronze silver and gold we do have a hardware software and support and accordingly those partner discounting so for bronze i have a hardware product so a discount for a five percent of on a partner discount and for silver i do have like a uh, i have a support i have another five percent of discount then for a gold I have like uh, support uh, related products so I would be applying a 7% discount that has to be applied automatically by the system itself. <clears throat> so in order to achieve this particular requirement we will have to create one custom object. The custom object API name should look like to this one partner label uh, discount and under this a partner label discount object you will have to define a three field one is partner discount which should be a number field and the partner label which should be a pick list field for a partner pick list partner label pick list it again similar to the pick list that we have defined on account bronze silver and gold and similarly for a product family we'll have to define these three pick list called hardware software and support so after defining this uh, object my third step to create the data in a partner level discount record actually so this record uh, I have set up in my partner level discount object and these records you can find here as a link here uh, in my uh, a tiny URL that I have posted here actually so you can refer this uh, tiny URL it will give you the partner discount table in a CSV format you can download and you can upload uh, for your further uses or for a, for a demo purpose or for a exercise or practice purpose you can use this particular uh, a link and for entire like a product that we have set up for our, uh, our demo you can find these a uh, product definition with this uh, with help of this particular link as well as for the individual pricing for individual product you can get these pricing detail with help of this particular link so these are the three important link that I am sharing today so that you can configure your product with help of this pricing and all 
as well as you can also set up this partner discount table now moving to our uh, next setup next action item where i will have to create a price rule in it so please make sure uh, how you can achieve this price rule you can go to the uh, price rule tab <coughs> search for the price rule tab from the price rule you will have to create a new price rule here just provide the price rule name then evaluation scope should be a calculator condition met should be all and lookup object should be a partner label please make sure you have been activating this price rule if you are not activating this price rule this partner label discounting will not be achieved so now how this a uh, price rule will look like let let's open this one i have already created this partner level uh, partner uh, discount related rule i have a rule name saying that partner discount by product family now my error condition will look like to this one saying that uh, uh, on a quote object this partner label should not be blank then from this lookup object i would like to query um, i would like to query to the lookup field call product family should matches to the quote line uh, product family and should also matches matches to my lookup field called partner level these are the product family and partner label uh, a field that we have defined on a partner level discount it is going to match with our a uh, field called product family which is nothing but it's again uh, predefined or uh, standard of field defined on a quote line and then partner label the field that we have created as a custom field which is nothing but it's uh, referring as a formula field from the account itself actually so these are the two lookup queries you will have to create now the third step you will have to define a price action actually so the target object always should be a quote line now our objective is to override the partner discount based on these criteria based on this query i would like to ask, i would like to fetch the source field name called partner discount so what it does based on product family and partner label from the quote it searches to the partner label discount a lookup object and fetch and fetch the partner discount field accordingly and set this partner discount to a target field on the quote line called partner discount so only these three these few steps you will have to follow in order to achieve or in order to see this a lookup object you can utilize in a pricing rule so now it's time to get the demo very quickly <coughs> so i have already predefined one quote uh, here let me open one my one of my quote so now i would be clicking one uh, button name called edit line let me remove this uh, predefined field that i have in my uh, product selected click on add product so in this particular demo i will add one support product as well as i would add a one hardware product and then i will click on a select button so based on my support and based on my a uh, hardware product so let me let me open this uh, account also so this court has a account associated call burlington textiles corporation and it is a, has a partner label called silver so for a silver product and this admin hour is nothing but it's my support product and this magic house is nothing but it's my hardware product actually so my magic mouse will have a 10% discount and my support admin hour a product has a a partner discount of 5% so this 5% and 10% is automatically being calculating with help of a pricing rule so this is the pricing rule that we have set up and these are the data so i have a silver product which says 
a support has a 5% and for a hardware I have a 10% so similarly these data is going to be populated on my quote line editor automatically how you can add this a partner discount uh, just a quick uh, like uh, give you an heads up how I have added this partner discount on my quote line editor go to the quote line field then there is a quote line field set click on a edit line editor then add the a partner discount as a column uh, from this uh, search result actually so the moment you have added then only this partner discount will appear on this particular quote line editor the second a quick a note that i would suggest here these are the lookup objects are nothing but here is a pick list try to add those pick list for this price uh, this price rule object as well as similarly for this price section you must be needing this uh, a partner a discount as a pick list similarly for this lookup field you also must be having this lookup field as a pick list values so try to define these pick list values with their a field api name so let me quickly give you a one a price section i am just opening one in this price section i have defined this uh, i have defined this source as a pick list called partner discount you can go ahead and click on a quick link go to the field section then uh, choose this uh, a source lookup field as a pick list then in this uh, source lookup field as a pick list you can add the partner discount so this partner discount the column that we have specified on the partner label discount so this is all about our demo how we have been uh, quickly achieve this uh, a partner level discounting with help of price rule or you can say the how this price rule is going to help us in uh, defining our uh, uh, partner level discounting in my code process so thank you everyone thanks for uh, uh, providing your time and uh, please uh, do subscribe my youtube channel and please also share on your Twitter, on LinkedIn, as well as in your uh, Facebook social media account also. Thank you so much.